Hi, it's Rob here again, and I'm looking at VLC Media Player, latest release, and it's a little bit better in many respects, but particularly my interest, the adjustments and effects. I've got a WMV file running in the background, and I'll just, on the fly, show you some stuff. You can enable a graphic equaliser, you always could, but there you go. Compressor, very handy. If you're doing what I'm doing, a spatialiser. If you're doing what I'm doing right now, which is capturing a screen, then this is all really useful. It saves you having to buy some extra software, if you don't already have the software. For instance, I use Mixcraft to do the audio or Reaper, and Reaper is a good option as well. And there are many other audio options out there. Audacity, for example, is free, highly recommended. But moving right along, it's the video effects rather than the audio effects that really capture my attention. You can do image adjust, that's hue, g'day hue, uh, brightness, and brightness threshold. Uh, contrast, saturation, gamma adjustment, sharpens handy. You can see the instant effect there. Uh, now, crisps things up quite nicely on the fly. Uh, banding removal, we don't have a lot of bands on the screen at the moment, so it won't do much. Film grain, again, it's not really, there's not much to work with there. I can see a slight variance, but not grabbing my attention and crop works how you'd expect crops from side to side you can synchronize left and right top and bottom uh, and just crop away you can adjust colors by color extraction using the sort of codes that you find in HTML um, and in most image uh, editors easy to pick these colors up just search on the web plug them in and I'll extract them so you does a nice job. Color threshold, threshold works the same way and you can adjust saturation and similarity. You can also negate colors which I think is akin to going negative. At least that's the, how it looks. You can also, also posterize on the fly and you can do gradients. And you can see it's all working quite nicely. Gradient, edge, very nice some really nice adjustments here color mode, cartoon mode and sepia you can see sepia and also the manual rotate which is all very very handy and uh, I'll show you other, some other features there's wall, there's a water effect, I'll switch that off off it comes. There's a psychedelic effect that's now off and there's a mirror effect which is now off but we've still got waves and there's waves turned off. So it does work and it's um, a little bit easier to use. There's not a lot of change but uh, I'm finding it a little bit uh, more comprehensible than uh, previous iterations is VLC Media Player a good thing? Yes. Are the effects and adjustments good? In fact, they're excellent. Highly recommended. And uh, something else to add to your arsenal of utilities. So please give it a try. It's open source. It's free. Read up on it. Search for it on the web. Don't take my word for it. And I'll catch you later. Thanks. Rob out.